family god bless you today our god is faithful our god is faithful thank you so much for sharing your screen time with me today god bless you in jesus name as i was getting ready for this video the word of god came to my mind in the book of psalm 46 verse 10 here the bible says be still and know that i am god be still and know that i am god at this time, I want to encourage us to just take the necessary precautions and leave the rest for God to handle. And God Almighty will keep us away from every plague in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I want to say thank you to every parent for taking care of your children. Thank you so much. The Lord sees all your sacrifices and he will surely bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible says, they that sow in tears shall reap in joy. It will surely reap in joy in Jesus' name. Amen. Today, I want to talk about something very important. Social skills. A lot of our children are struggling socially. A lot of them cannot connect with people. A lot of them find it difficult to work properly in a group. They are not able to work together with other children. Parents, we need to be intentional on how we support our children socially. So today I'll be talking about the causes of weak social skills and how we can actually, you know, help our children in those areas. The first one I want to talk about is excessive usage of gadgets. A lot of our children are not able to connect with human beings because they spend so much time with their gadgets. We need to help our children to build boundaries ab about the usage of their gadgets. A particular child came to a birthday party and he came with his gadgets, a printer, and I went to meet him. Why are you on your gadget? Go play with your friends. And then he stood up. He went to play. Thank God, at least he listened. So parents, when you're children for any outdoor activity, make sure you encourage them to keep their gadgets at home. If they are teenagers, if they must go with their phones or their gadgets, tell them, encourage them to keep it away. Encourage them to connect with people. Encourage them to join in the play that they are doing. So please encourage your children to interact with people. So control the usage of their gadgets. Reduce their screen time. For me, in my house, on Monday to Fridays, my children don't have access to gadgets until Friday night. I encourage them to talk to each other. I encourage them, they do their homework and after that, they can spend their time together. If you have any other suggestion, please just drop it at the bottom of this video so I can share it next week. I don't know everything. If you have any suggestion, please drop it at the bottom of this video and I'll surely share it in my next video. The Lord will help us in Jesus' name. The next one I'm going to talk about is personality traits. Some children are not able to interact with people just because they are introverts. It's not a big deal. If you are an introvert, you can still improve on it. We can help them to improve on it. It doesn't mean they have to isolate themselves every time. The Bible says we can do all things through Christ that strengthens us. Even our introvert children, we can help them to still be able to connect with people. They can start with small group. Then from there, they go higher. But they can improve. They don't have to always be by themselves. We want, we want them to live a good life. We want them to be able to, to have healthy relationship with people. So they have to develop socially. They have to develop socially. Another reason why our children are not able to connect with people is because they don't have a role model in the family. Some parents are so withdrawn to themselves. 
some parents don't really have that many friends some parents don't really know how to make friends themselves so their children just follow their footsteps in my last video i talked about parental legacy there are some things we do that our children just learn from us some parents don't talk they just keep to themselves they, they even invite them to a party they don't take their children they just stay at home and their children just follow them parents please support your children to be able to create healthy relationship is very important we all need someone to lean on we all need someone to lean on for us to have a force work to have a good experience in life we need to be able to develop healthy relationship with people so we have to support our children socially the last one i'm going to talk about is low self-esteem some of our children have low self-esteem and we need to support them on how to build a strong self-esteem some children will say oh i know i have small head i have small this my mommy says it even my sibling too they say it we have to help them to correct those negative impressions. How do we do that? By speaking the word of God into their lives. Tell them you are fearfully and wonderfully made. Let them know that the world is waiting to hear their voices. Let them know that their voices, their views matter. Let them know how important they are because they are children of God. We have to help our children to build their self-esteem. The Lord will help us as parents in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord will help us to help our children to build their self-esteem in the precious name of Jesus. So it is my desire today that all of us as parents, we are going to go back to the table and look for a way or ways to support our children socially. We all need someone to lean on. Another, another area in which we can support them socially is by educating them. Educating them on how to build, to build, to, to build good character. Some kids are so smart, but they have bad characters. So we have to ensure, we have to make sure that we teach our children on how to develop positive characters, how to talk to people nicely, how to use their words nicely, how to say please and thank you, how to treat people nicely. We need to educate our children. At times, we just believe, oh, they should know. We have to be explicit about it. Tell them. When you see someone, can you say hi? You meet someone for the first time and the person is trying to talk to you, be nice to the person. Someone says hi to you, say hi to the person. All of those, you know, little, little things about character, teach them, is very important. We can also support them to build healthy, you know, social skills by actually encouraging them to make friends. You can even help them to make those friends. Yes, we can help them to make those friends. I took my son to the park the other time and, you know, he couldn't play with the child that was, that was playing at the park. That child was playing by himself and my child couldn't join the child to play. So I had to intervene. So I started playing with the child. So along the line, my, my son joined and gradually I withdrew myself and it was just my son and the boy and they were playing nicely. So at times we need to help our children to make that, to, to make friends. We need to show them. We show them and from there they learn. They learn. The Lord will help us in Jesus' name. If you have any comments, any, any thoughts about this topic, once again, please drop it and I will surely make sure I talk about it in the next video. Once again, I want to say thank you for watching. 
the Lord bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. If the Lord has blessed you through this video, please don't hesitate to click the subscribe button and share the video. God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Bye.